Good morning. Thanks for joining here. Us. Uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Wednesday. It is the 26th of November. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And hopefully your day is starting off well. It's not too shabby out there. No, no. snow or particulate matter hitting you in the face and things like that. So it's all good. Is that what happened to you during the windstorm? Yeah. Particulate yeah, matter hitting you, get, you in the face? You get leaves and all kinds of stuff hitting you in the face and dirt and all kinds of stuff. Sure. <laughs> Lawn Only furniture. Him. Only to him. Yeah. All right, well, let's take a look at our current temperatures. It's two in Oshawa. Yeah, it's certainly going to be a chilly day, but it's going to be a calm day for a lot of the cleanup efforts. Of course, the windstorm brought down hundreds of trees throughout mm -hmm. the GTA. A lot of people were without power, but flooding was also a big concern through many communities. Oh, God. We'll talk about the long range forecast. Do we warm up? Those details just ahead, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, as you can see, we're dealing with quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the GTA throughout the day today. And then through uh, Hamilton, Niagara, could see a few isolated flurries, but certainly not a heavy accumulation. Uh, through tomorrow morning, we're looking fairly decent, a mix of sun and cloud. But this trough could sink a little bit further south and give areas like Guelph and through Kitchener and Waterloo and Cambridge a few isolated flurries through the overnight and into Friday. Friday, we do start to clear out, so not a bad day. And then on Saturday, a brand new system is going to move into the region. And this one is going to help warm up our temperatures with a nice southwesterly flow. But it's also going to be bringing us a little bit of wet weather. We could see some mixing early in the morning and then by Saturday afternoon, transitioning into rain. Sunday, mild, 8 degrees, but overcast. Quite a bit of cloud cover for the GTA throughout the morning hours and places like Hamilton and Niagara Falls could pick up a few isolated flurries. Now by tonight, the lake effect will start to ease, but we are going to be seeing a trough move closer to southern Ontario. And this one throughout the evening tomorrow could actually bring some light snow through Guelph and through Kitchener and Cambridge and Waterloo uh, up towards Orangeville and Mount Forest. Doesn't look as though it's going to reach downtown. We may see a few flurries, but it certainly won't be accumulating. Friday, not a bad day. It's going to be cold. We're looking at minus one as a daytime high. But then Saturday, brand new system comes in with that southerly flow, warms us up significantly. But we are going to be seeing rain. So expect a wet day for Saturday, milder on Sunday with a daytime high of eight degrees. Well, it's a cold start to the day. So as you're heading out thinking about going to get your breakfast, bundle up, think winter jacket, maybe a hat, scarf, mitts. It's cold, minus two through Orangeville. We're looking at zero through Toronto. Hamilton, St. Catharines could pick up a few isolated flurries. It's cold if you're traveling to the east. We're looking at one degree as a morning temperature through Kingston and down towards the south. We're looking at minus one through London with a mix of sun and cloud and a morning temperature of zero in Windsor. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is November the 26th. Thanks so much for joining us here this morning on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And happy hump day to you. Halfway through this work week. Yay. Yay. It's, it's all good. Weekend. Yeah. And it really is not such a bad day. I mean, you were, we were talking with our producer a minute ago. You were saying it's chilly. And you're I saying it's not so today. chilly. What's up? I wore my parka today. It's cold. I didn't wear a coat. Well, I will this, but that's it. But anyway, it's 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 just around the freezing mark, so it's not too bad. <laughs> no, let's take a look at our current temperatures. You're right. It's not too bad, and I'm a baby when it comes to the cold. At zero in Barrie as well. Uh, what was the record high for today, then, if you keep these figures in your the head? The record high for today. Let yeah. me just think about that. I think it was uh, 19 degrees. No. I think. Was it not? No. What was it? 16. I was very close. What year? 1960. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? But it was 1950 was the coldest. Are you sure? Uh huh. Are you positive? I'm positive. No, 19th. you're not. Yes, I am. It was 1950. <laughs> the wind damage from yesterday was intense. Okay, Tom. The record, I was right. For the heat, 16.1 uh -huh. back in 1960. Uh -huh. And the record, the lowest, uh -huh. was minus 18.3 in 1949. Oh, come on. It was you were wrong. You it were still 19, wrong. He said 1950. <laughs> I heard him. Uh <laughs> no, I just know more than you. <laughs> okay, we've got cloud cover throughout the GTA for much of the day today. We'll, we'll see a little peak of the sun here and there. Uh, we could see a few isolated flurries through Niagara and through Hamilton over towards Grimsby, Guelph, Orangeville, as well as Newmarket could see flurries by tomorrow evening as this trough sinks its way a little bit further south. We do have a system approaching for the weekend, and it, what it's going to do is warm up our temperatures with those southwesterly winds. That's good news. The bad news is that we're going to see some rain on Saturday, but clearing up for Sunday. 
Well, quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today. We are going to see the chance of a few flurries through Hamilton and through Niagara, down towards Grimsby. Uh, but for the most part, a mix of sun and cloud. We are going to be seeing the chance of flurries move in with this trough that's going to be sinking its way south through Guelph and through Orangeville, up through Newmarket. We could see some flurries Thursday late day, evening into overnight. We do start to clear out throughout the day on Friday. We'll see a little bit of sunshine back in the forecast, but cold at minus one. And then Saturday, brand new system of approaches with this nice southwesterly flow temperatures They'll be warming back up to more seasonal values, but we're going to see some rain. We'll stay mild throughout the day on Sunday. We won't necessarily see some sunshine, but eight degrees with cloud cover. There's that rain for Saturday and then into early next week. Temperatures will be below seasonal yet again. I don't know about you, but that just gave me a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> we don't have much time before Christmas, less than a month. I know. Goes by fast, doesn't it? Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is the 26th of November, and the cleanup is going to continue throughout southern Ontario. Feeling like minus 8 if you're hitting the town. Bundle up. Today we're going to see quite a bit of cloud cover just around the shores of Ontario and Erie. Places like Hamilton, Niagara Falls could see a few isolated showers. This afternoon temperatures, we're looking at two for Toronto, one for Hamilton. There's the chance of a few isolated flurries. One in Newmarket and zero in Barrie. Certainly going to be a chilly day today. All right, I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds. He's got an update on your commute. Well, we are going to be seeing a cool couple of days, and then on the weekend, we warm up, but we've got rain on the way. I feel I listed something about shopping for Black Friday on Twitter, but today is the day before American Thanksgiving, so everyone is traveling, and the weather is horrendous up the U.S. Eastern Seaboard. That's right. Large, large travel day. Major delays expected. A lot of the airports on the Eastern Seaboard, and uh, so trying to get to Pearson. If you're an American going to Pearson to fly down to the States, uh, there are delays because of construction. I'll show you that coming up, but it's going to be a busy day at Pearson. Today, two degrees. We're looking at zero for this evening. We are going to warm up over the weekend. I'll tell you how warm we're going to get in just a moment, but first, here's Tom with that traffic delay. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today. We may see a peak of sun. We're seeing some light flurries through the Mississauga area right now and down towards Hamilton and through Niagara Falls and through Grimsby and Sarnia. We are going to see uh, the flurries kind of intensify for Thursday evening areas north and west of the city. Just with that trough, it's going to be sinking its way south. It will start to clear up throughout the day on Friday. And then we've got a new system coming in for Saturday. And as you can see, the wind shift direction to more of a southwesterly flow. So we warm up, but we've got some rain in the forecast. Five degrees for Saturday and eight degrees for Sunday. Quite a bit of cloud cover throughout the day today, especially along the lake shore. We are going to be seeing the chance of a few flurries. We're already seeing a little bit of snow through Mississauga. Flurries through Hamilton, Niagara Falls, and then through Grimsby and Sarnia. The snow closer to the north and west is going to be moving in late day tomorrow with this approaching trough. So places like Orangeville, Mount Forest, through Guelph, through Cambridge, and through Kitchener, Waterloo, that's your next best chance of seeing a little bit of light snow. It's not going to be a heavy accumulation, but you'll see it. It may stick on your cars. By Thursday evening, we do start to clear. By Friday, we'll see a mix of sun and cloud, daytime high of one, and the forecast has done a little flipperoo on us. So if you're watching about half an hour ago, you're thinking it's going to rain on Saturday. Well, it looks as though the rain is going to hold off until Sunday, but look at our temperature, 11 degrees. Will this warming trend continue? Make sure you head to our website, theweathernetwork.com and check out the 14 day trend. All right, thanks so much, Chrissy. It's interesting, but the entire country is in storm watch, except for Ontario. Mm -hmm. We've got crazy weather in British Columbia, tons of snow in Alberta, and the East Coast and Nor'east are on the way, hammering the U.S. Eastern Seaboard. Well, and this is the biggest travel day in the U.S. I mean, yeah. prior to their Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, so it's huge. Not only people leaving Canada to go to the States and vice versa, Americans coming up here. Mm -hmm. so or just traveling. Could, and there could the be States. so huge delays, so it's going to be a pretty interesting day. Call ahead if you're going to Pearson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two degrees this afternoon. We're looking at a mix of sun and cloud. The sea up into the long range. Chrissy just kind of teased at the weekend, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, here's Tom. Not here, but the cloud cover and the light flurries that we're seeing through Niagara and through Hamilton down towards Grimsby and Sarnia, that's that nor'easter that's pushing its way east. We're kind of smacked out in the middle of non-active weather. We've got a mix of sun and cloud throughout the day today and into tomorrow. Uh, we are going to see the risk of a few isolated flurries through Orangeville, through Mount Forest, down through Guelph and Cambridge, Kitchener, Waterloo, tomorrow night and into Friday. Now, once that little system clears out, we're going to be back into high pressure for Friday. But then Saturday, new 
system comes through and Sunday it looks as though we're going to see a few isolated showers with much warmer temperatures a daytime high of 11. Well, the good news is the weather is not going to have too much of an impact on traffic. We do have a mix of sun and cloud throughout the day today. We are going to see those continued flurries through parts of the GTA, but on and off, it's not going to be an accumulation of any means. Where we do see the potential for a light accumulation is going to be tomorrow evening through Guelph and through Cambridge and Kitchener, Waterloo, through Orangeville and Mount Forest. Temperatures below this. Mix of sun and cloud throughout the day today could see a few isolated flurries on and off. Next best chance of seeing is a light dusting through Cambridge and Kitchener through Waterloo tomorrow night with that trough. Once that clears up on Friday, we'll be back to sunshine but cold temperatures. Saturday, overcast conditions with an approaching system mild and wet throughout the day on Sunday. All right, thanks so much, Chrissy. Beautiful. When's the last time you skated? Last year. Really? Oh yeah, I had, we had a full-size oh, NHL yeah, rink in front of the cottage. Sorry, I forgot. Oh no, I skated. Oh yeah, I got a breakaway and ended up uh, somewhere down in breaking away uh, Kings. So you know, <laughs> I, I I broke away and it just kept on going <laughs> and down it the just river. Broke. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't break. No, I didn't. I didn't even fall last year. Good for you. Not on the ice. I don't remember the last time I skated. That's a long really time. really. Well, you should get out there. Brooklyn would probably like a pair of skates. I know, and you're going to buy them for her, aren't you, Uncle Tom? <laughs> yeah, and you're going to take her skating. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Learning all over. Yeah, exactly. Minus two. Do we warm up? I've got that answer coming up in your long range, but first, here's Tom. A nice and sun and cloud for the most part throughout the day today. We can see a few isolated flurries flying about. We do have a trough that's going to be sinking south throughout the day tomorrow, and that could bring places like Mount Forest through Orangeville, down through Guelph, Kitchener, Cambridge, through Waterloo. A few isolated flurries, maybe even a light dusting, but certainly not a heavy accumulation. We'll start to clear up throughout the day on Friday. Saturday, we really warm up as a southerly flow starts to move in, and by Sunday, we're looking at double-digit temperatures, but it's going to be wet. We've got some rain moving into the GTA. Mix of sun and cloud today, so not bad. We're seeing a daytime high of two degrees. Could see a few isolated flurries in and around the area as well. A light dusting with a trough extending south throughout the day tomorrow. Mount Forest to Orangeville, Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo, Guelph. All those areas could see some light snow, but it looks as though it's going to miss the city of Toronto. Could see a few flurries, but not much of anything. Once that starts to clear out on Friday, we are going to be seeing some sunshine. By Saturday, temperatures start to warm up because we've got this warm southwesterly flow. And by Saturday, we are mild, but we're going to be wet. We do have a chance to see a few isolated showers. One tomorrow, minus one for Friday. By Saturday, bumping up to four degrees, and then Sunday, double digits. Back to 11, but it is going to be wet. Once that cold front moves through for Monday and Tuesday, temperatures are going to be quite cold. And then by the middle of next week, we've got a new system coming in could start off as a little bit of mixing transitioning to rain all right thanks Chrissy yeah today is going to be a very cool day and that trend is going to continue for the next couple of days I just want to very quickly say congratulations to Hazel McCallan today is her last council meeting that she will officiate over after wow. 36 years of as mayor of Mississauga <sighs> 93 years old. Well, way to go, Hazel. All the best in your retirement. It's I'm just, sure you'll find something to do. It's just not going to be the same without unbelievable, her. Unbelievable. <laughs> really. <laughs> just incredible. unbelievable. Congratulations. All right. Well, today, not a bad day. It's great to have those details in just a moment. First, here's Tom with an update on traffic. Well, it makes the sun and cloud for the most part throughout the day today. A few isolated flurries here and there. Trough's going to be sinking south throughout the day tomorrow, giving Orangeville, Guelph, Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo a light dusting of snow. Certainly not a really heavy accumulation. By the time Friday rolls around, we will start to clear up. We'll see a little bit of sunshine. And then with a the southwesterly flow, we warm up throughout the day on Saturday to 4 degrees. And then by Sunday, even milder, getting up to 11. But we do have some rain in the forecast for Toronto. All right, thanks so much, Chrissy. I actually wore my full-length parka today. Did you? The one that goes right down to my ankles and like right up to here. Right. Yeah. You should go skating. <laughs> do, you, do you even own skates? No. No. <laughs> what would I do with a pair of skates, Tom? What would I do with That's, a pair of skates? That is a good You know point. what? I what? have a pair of roller skates. Do you? I do. And do you wear those? Not anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> The friend when you were I like, 10? I like to keep my bones intact. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, from when I was 10, but they're still cool. Uh, of course they are. Friend, do we warm up in the long range? Those details just ahead, but first, over to Tom for an update on your commute. You think that when winter starts to arrive, construction starts to slow down, but no, not so much. We do have a mix of sun and clouds throughout the day today. A few isolated flurries throughout 
parts of the Golden Horseshoe. We are going to be seeing high pressure move in throughout the day tomorrow, so we will see a little bit more in the way of sunshine. And then as we get closer to the weekend, temperatures are going to be warming up, believe it or not. We're actually going to be seeing a daytime high on Sunday of 11 degrees, but we do have some rain in the forecast. Thanks, Tom. We are going to be dealing with quite a bit of cloud cover today, especially around the lake, but we could also see a little bit of sunshine, which would be nice. Some scattered flurries in and around the GTA with temperatures remaining quite cold. Only a daytime high today of two. Next best chance of seeing a little bit of accumulation of light dusting through Orangeville, Mount Forest, through Guelph, through Kitchener, and Cambridge, through Waterloo, is this trough moving in tomorrow evening through the overnight and into Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, we do clear out. We are going to be seeing some high pressure in the area. Temperatures staying cold, but we'll see some sunshine. Southerly flow for Saturday and into Sunday. We do have a system approaching from the north. Could give us some rain to round off the weekend, but temperatures are going to be very mild. Four degrees for Saturday, and then we're looking at a daytime high, a one-day daytime high of 11 for Sunday before cooling down at the beginning of next week. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Wednesday. It is the 26th of November and it is a cool start to the day. Now we need to consider ourselves lucky because the rest of the country are experiencing storm watch. It's stormy in BC. They've got tons of snow falling through Alberta and into Atlantic Canada. Well, that nor'easter is going to pummel the U.S. eastern seaboard and then move into the Maritimes. It's a big travel day today. If you're heading to Pearson, make sure you call ahead to check for your flight schedules. If you're heading down towards the United States. Again, call some airports, especially to the east. It is going to be busy and it's going to be stormy. All right, we've got Chrissy Van in for Kevin Yard today. She's been joining us all morning long from Mississauga and Celebration Square. Chrissy, now you've been saying it. It's starting to make you feel a little bit more festive. <laughs> I'm terrible on skis, terrible on snowboards, so out of all of them, skateboarding or skateboarding, skating would be my favorite. What's your favorite one to try out? <laughs> Chrissy, you're so funny. I don't do any winter sports. Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm a really good uh, prey skier. I can sit in the lodge and watch people come down the hill. I don't mind going to the skating rink if it's indoors and I can sit in a heated section. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm not a fan of the winter. Okay, two degrees today. I can handle two degrees. It's not bad. Mix of sun and cloud minus two. Now today we're looking at a mix of sun and cloud. We are going to be seeing a few isolated flurries here and there. We are going to be seeing a trough sink its way south of places like Mount Forest through Orangeville, Guelph, through Kitchener and Cambridge. We are going to be seeing a light dusting through tomorrow evening and in through the overnight. By Friday, however, we do clear out. We'll see some high pressure move back in and you can see our winds are starting to shift. These white lines are the wind barbs. So they're coming in from more so the southwest direction, which means our temperatures are going to start to bump up with that warmer air. By Saturday, we're looking at four degrees. Sunday, really mild, but unfortunately quite wet. We're going to have to pay a price for those warm temperatures. Seeing some rain moving in, then the cold front moves through. The beginning of next week is going to be cool, but by midweek, we should return to more seasonal values throughout the GTA. Thanks so much, Mike. I'm Emily Vukovic. It is Wednesday. It's the 26th of November. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. We've been talking about the wind and the rain and the cleanup that continues from Monday's wicked windstorm. A little bit of cloud covers throughout the day today, but we should also see peaks of sun, a few isolated flurries throughout the GTA. We do have a trough approaching throughout the day tomorrow that's going to give places like Newmarket and Vaughan, as well as through Orangeville, Guelph, Kitchener, Cambridge, Waterloo. Uh, light snow. It's just going to be a dusting, if anything. And then once that clears out throughout the day on Friday, we've got high pressure moving in, cold but sunny. Saturday, overcast conditions as a new system approaches, and this one is responsible for bringing us some rain, but it's also responsible for warming up our temperatures. One tomorrow, minus one for Friday, four degrees for Saturday, and then incredibly mild on Sunday, 11, but it's going to be wet with some showers. Joining us, meteorologist Dr. Doug Gillum. Now, the big topic on everybody's mind is, of course, the winter outlook. Yes. It has been released, and everybody is tweeting about it, putting messages on our Facebook account. Everybody wants to know, is it really going to be that cold? And especially <laughs> after the November that we've had, as you look across the country, we've had some January-like weather where you see the blues and greens. Yeah. Those are places that have been colder than they should be during the month of November. And the blues in southern Ontario, 
a bit of back and forth, a temperature roller coaster. So, so more like what November should be like. Right, exactly. Okay. We're going to have more November-like <laughs> weather in early December than okay. we had in November. And the temperature roller coaster resumes on Saturday as milder temperatures, not warm, but milder than what Friday was like. And then I was going to call Sunday autumnal. Oh, but I wouldn't. I don't like that word so much. Double digits. You're going to like that. Yes, temperatures up around 12, 13 degrees. Uh, breezy day, certainly not as windy as Monday was. So mm -hmm. fairly nice fall day to end November. Uh, and what a contrast to the temperatures across wow. the prairies. So cold it was. And I said my tears would freeze. Right. And, and these are high <laughs> temperatures. Wow. Now a piece of that will get a glancing shot on Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures back a few degrees cooler than we should should be this time of year, but not January, like just more typical for early December. Next system impacts us on Wednesday with snow to the north, some rain to the south. All right, so get out, enjoy the mild temperatures this weekend. Hi, I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It is the 26th of November. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. A pretty intense storm this week on Monday. The cleanup continues after wind gusts over 100 kilometers an hour in some areas hit the city. If you're heading out, make sure you bundle up. Now for the weekend, we do have a system approaching. Tomorrow we're going to see a daytime high of one. Friday we're looking at minus one. And then for Saturday and Sunday, that system's going to push through with that southeast, southwesterly flow. And that's going to help warm up our temperature. So we're going to be four for Friday, or Saturday rather, and then 11 for Sunday. So really quite mild, but then of course we do see that cold front. So for the beginning of early next week, one for Monday in Hamilton, big zero. For Tuesday, one through Oshawa, and then come Wednesday, because temperatures are going to be warming up just slightly with the next system, we could see some rain, but I wouldn't be surprised, like it's showing in Barrie, for us to see a bit of a rain-snow mix to start the day and then the transition into rain in the afternoon. And thank you for the anxiety. <laughs> Only a few more weekends left to shop. Yikes, that makes me think I need to must run out to the stores right this second. All right, well, today is Wednesday. It is November the 26th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Network. We are going to be experiencing a fairly cool day today, only two degrees. Chrissy Van's been joining us in Mississauga this morning down at Celebration Square uh, and checking out some of the trees and the skating. I think it's making you feel a little bit festive, isn't it, Chrissy? I'm a bit of a bigger fan of the heat. Oh, me too. I'm a baby when it comes to the cold. I wore my full length, like right down to my ankles parka today, and it's not even really that cold. <laughs> Two degrees for this afternoon. Just a few days. A few isolated flurries skirting around as well, and we are going to be seeing a trough sink its way south through parts of Kitchener and Cambridge, through Orangeville, through Mount Forest, through Guelph. We are going to be seeing a light dusting for tomorrow night. Temperatures today, they're staying cool. Here's the trough as it starts to approach the lower Great Lakes throughout the day tomorrow. Like I said, light dusting, certainly not a heavy accumulation. We are going to be seeing a bit of a warm up for the weekend. By Friday, we clear out. We'll see some sunshine. It's still going to be cold. The warm up doesn't come until Saturday where we've got that southerly flow bumping us up to seasonal values. And then on Sunday, 11 degrees, but we've got rain in the forecast. Ah, yes, the polar vortex. We all remember it so well, don't we? <laughs> I'm Emily Vukovic. It's Wednesday. It's the 26th of November, and today is going to be quite cool. We're only going to see a daytime high of 2 degrees. It's going to be a good day, however, for cleanup efforts as they continue through many areas of southern Ontario. Now, this is in Air Ontario. Kitchener also dealt with quite a bit of flooding, rivers and streams running high and fast. Snow melt. That's for sure. If you had any left, you don't anymore. That's for sure. After daytime highs of almost 20 degrees on Monday. Today, we're going to see a little bit of cloud cover on and off throughout the lakes, but we're also going to be seeing a little bit of sunshine. Next best chance of seeing a light dusting of snow through Guelph and Kitchener and Cambridge. That's going to come tomorrow overnight. Well, mostly tomorrow evening and through the overnight to Friday. Light dusting at best with that trough sinking south. High pressure moves back in for Friday and then on Saturday, new system approaches the lower Great Lakes. This is going to warm up our temperatures. We're giving that nice warm southwesterly flow and that's going to bump us up. It's going to be mild on Sunday at 11 degrees, but wet. We've got showers on the way.